Good morning, everyone. Steve Murray here with Insurance Agency Marketing Services. We're going to go ahead and get started today. We got a great webinar available. We're going to talk about Retirement Boss Radio. As is always the case, our guest speaker on Tuesdays at 10 is Dave Kipper. Dave will be uh, talking to us a little bit about his own experience uh, using uh, Retirement Boss Radio, what he brings to the table there. And he'll talk a little bit too about some of the things that we do from a coaching perspective that can help you grow your business. We have some really good results with. If you have any questions during the event, I would encourage you, if you would, to go ahead and uh, type them in and, and send them over. We'll get them asked and answered just as quickly as we can. There will be a couple of polls that will pop up. If you can ask, uh, answer those yes or no as quickly as possible, that helps us keep moving right along as well. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, I wanted to make sure that you're all aware of a couple of programs. I know that many of you, I'm just looking at our list of folks today, and we've got a lot of folks with us that are regular producers already with times, which is great. Uh, looking into Retirement Boss Radio as, a, as an alternative. So many of you are aware of these programs, but pretty simple. And when you do business with us, we put money into your reimbursement account. When you spend that money, when you spend money for marketing, you send us receipts, we'll reimburse you. Uh, we got your spend dollar for dollar. Uh, also, the RPM program, pretty basic stuff as well. When you refer a producer with us, uh, we send you out a little bonus check when he or she gets appointed with us at 50 bucks but the real money comes when they do business and we go ahead and pay you an ongoing uh, bonus based on their production it does not come out of their pocket they get all the same benefits as that you receive right now uh, it's just a little extra bonus in your pocket for referring them over thank you by the way for many of you that already have taken the opportunity to refer us uh, any of your colleagues so thank you for that this is a little new. We've always had a new producer builders program, but we've increased the scope of it a little bit, taking higher levels of production. So now, as you can see, we go all the way up to a million. We do anything from a, a little, uh, uh, you know, we can get you an iPad at the 100,000 level, all the way up to the million dollar level. We can basically build your brand, get you some preset annuity points, get you some videos, do some dinner workshops and things like that. There's a lot of great stuff in there. If you haven't talked to your sales director about our new producer program, those of you that are still within your first 180 days of being appointed with us, I, I, encourage you to take some time and go over that program with them. There are a lot of great benefits and keep in mind too that if there's something that you want that's not on here that is you know kind of geared towards the marketing and growing of your business, we'll definitely consider that as well. Got some great back off support here at IMS Claim to Fame really we've got a great team. They do some great work. Uh, I say this all the time and I don't I know it you know from my experience there's some uh, unfortunately, some truth to it is a lot of our competitors will say the same thing. But if you put us up against our competitors and say, okay, what's IAM's best at? They will tell you that that's what we do better than anybody else to support our producers through the whole process from what product to use to how to illustrate it to uh, helping you with the application process to helping you get your business in and out the door, the submission and commission process uh, all the way through. We're very, very good at what we do. We've been doing it a long time, 33 years. So hopefully you'll take advantage of that and grow your business. We'd love to help you in those areas. We've got the new part of that is we have a new and I see we've lost a little bit of the wording there but uh, so you've got access to IAM's Firelight directly through our website now so what that means is once you put someone in the IAM's Firelight system their information will be maintained in there so if you want to go back and do another uh, uh, piece of business using that same client then all it gets uploaded in the system for you automatically uh, all of our carriers, all the carriers that we use are on that one website. So if you're at all considering using eApps, uh, get on board, register at the uh, for our Firelight uh, instance here on the IAMS website and make your life much, much, much easier. We'd love to help you with that. These are the companies now available. We've got some more coming too. And these are just the carriers available on Firelight. This is by no means a full list of all the carriers that we do business with. You can see the ones that are sitting right now kind of in the queue getting ready to be put on the system as well as ones that are already on the system. That's a growing. Firelight is the uh, standard there. So if a carrier is interested in being on a standard system at all, they are on Firelight. And we have Firelight available to you on a very easy platform. Got a great creative marketing team. If you've talked to them, you know that to be the case. They can do a lot of things for you, all the way from getting something as simple as uh, your uh, logo and business card set up, to getting your website set up, to getting your in the email, email marketing business if you want to do that. Social, uh, social digital media marketing, we can help you with that. Uh, all the way up to get building your brand in a, you know, in a full heavy media, you know, Forbes, CNBC type of format. So we've got a lot of services and. And they're all geared towards making you and all priced towards making that as efficient and effective as possible. Most of our folks, frankly, are going to use their marketing reimbursement for almost everything that they do. And they've got some great services. So take advantage of that kind of in-house advertising agency for your business. Uh, website, uh, of course, as I mentioned to you all earlier, we've got the Firelight instance on there now. We've got a great uh, carrier 
uh, quoting tools. We've got uh, a lot of, if you haven't looked at the items resource library under support, under the support tab, I would encourage you to take a view of that. Great, great uh, uh, sales and marketing tools out there. Everything from sample buy sell agreements all the way to, you know, how to get referrals in your particular area using a referral system. So if you haven't looked at that system, uh, look at that on our website. If you haven't signed up for Firelight, do that on our website. If you haven't gone onto the quoting system, quoting tools system for annuities or for life insurance, uh, great, great, really uh, built out website. So take advantage of that. Uh, what I would encourage you to do is call your sales director and say, hey, what, what's out there that I should know about? And they'll walk you through it. We're seeing a lot of uptake and use of the retirement analyzer. We make this available to you at no cost. So great tool that you could use with your clients. We pay the we pay the fee on it. Uh, if you want to get it on your own, it'd be about 75, 80 bucks a month. We have a, a group use uh, agreement with retirement analyzer. So we've got a lot of availability out there for you. Uh, if this is something that you're wanting to take a look at, give Marcus a call here in our office. He's a sales director and he works with retirement analyzer. Uh, we've got access to their uh, whole training regimen. We've got access to their developers. Uh, we do a lot of business with folks at Retirement Analyzer. So if you're looking for a system to help you help your clients find out where they are in their retirement journey in a very comprehensive and graphic way, by all means, take a look at the Retirement Analyzer. It will make you those larger sales and will keep your uh, clients stickier for you. And as I mentioned, uh, we'll make that available to you at our expense. Times Wealth, great team over there. We've just uh, been going on our third year of existence uh, with Times Wealth. So if you're looking for uh, better uh, uh, RIA to do business with, or if you're thinking about becoming an IAR and need an RIA, let them help you through that process. They can make it very simple for you. If you're unhappy with maybe the fees that are being charged by your RIA, or maybe you don't like the payout uh, that is available through the RIA, I'd say of all means, give the folks over at uh, Iams Wealth a quick call, what you could do as well if you like, if you have some interest there, simply check yes or no on this poll. If you check yes, they'll give you a call and they'll walk you through that. Uh, and the bottom line will be, you know, are your fees right? Uh, are you getting paid right? Is our cost right? Is their support good? Uh, and do they have the products that you need? And what you'll find at IMS Well is that we're very, very well geared to the to the folks that are kind of new into that business, which even helps quite a bit. The folks that have been doing that a while that maybe didn't get some of that basic support when they needed it. we got a great crew over there, Charles, Sarah, Mike, Joan. Uh, they're a great uh, sales team that really know how to help uh, IARs get that business started. So if you have interest, uh, simply hit yes or no on that poll really quick for me. I'm going to close that out in about 25 seconds. So if you have interest, hit yes. If you don't have interest, hit no. If you want to chat more, just give me a call. Uh, I'm at the office here at 800-255-5055. I'll be glad to walk you through what they do and how they do it uh, and uh, see if it, it might be a great fit for you. So let me close that poll data. Let's go ahead and keep moving. Again, if you want to have a further conversation, give me a call at 800-255-5055. Moving here if we can. There we go. Um, we've got some great training and some of that training that has kind of become recognized in the marketplace is our Life and Annuity Academy. We've been doing them now for about 15 years. Uh, our guys and gals that have been want to come again. It's great training. It's all around sales and marketing. It's built to help you grow your business. If you haven't been to a Life and Annuity Academy and you haven't heard about them, give us a give us a shot and let us uh, let us walk you through what we do and how we do it. Um, we'd be glad to uh, send you out a sample agenda. We take care of all the expenses. You're going to be out of your office for two or three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is kind of what you can count on. Uh, we'll bring you in, pay for your hotel, take care of your meals. We'll have uh, meetings that first night. We'll have meetings all day, second day. We'll have meetings half day Friday. And all of it will be geared around sales, marketing, things you can do to grow your business. We'll talk a little product here and there. Uh, we kind of lay out the landscape of what's out there in terms of income products, what's out there in best of, in best of class in terms of uh, uh, you know accumulation products. Uh, we'll spend a lot of time on you know what the what the folks out there are doing that are running a good solid practice. You know how they divide up their time. We can we'll talk a little bit about that. Then we'll give you some great seminar opportunities, some great uh, product sales opportunities. Uh, that fit really well into your business all around life and annuity products. So if that's of interest to you, let us know. We'll have our wealth management team there as well. Uh, but if you have some interest in that, simply give me a call again, that number 800-255-5055. We've got a couple, three, four coming up here in 2020. We'd love to have you on board with those. We'd love to see you too uh, out at, down at uh, Cabo San Lucas at the Montage Los Cabos. That's a beautiful resort. If you've been, ever been to Cabo, you know that's a, 
an area that has got some uh, some great things to do, some great places to see. Uh, you know the surf, it can be a little rough there sometimes. And if you look at this picture, you can see that this beautiful uh, uh, property, uh, really first class, most first, the highest class property down in Cabo sits on a nice little bay, nice little beach. You know, everything about that is is gonna be a great time for you and your guests. We're gonna go down there in late August, great time to be down there. Uh, we're going to uh, uh, work together with the team to count all of your Athene pro uh, production only through IAMS. So this is an IAMS Athene only trip. So if you're doing business with Athene and you may want to change that over and do business with IAMS and see what level of support we can bring to you there and also send you and your guests down to a beautiful uh, vacation at the Montage at Los Cabos, give us a call. Let us help you. We'd love to be part of your theme business. If you haven't looked at a theme lately, there's a reason why they're number one in the independent marketing space. They've got great products uh, it'll, and uh, really have done a great job in terms of making sure that uh, what they do is uh, very credible years in and year out, great renewal rates, great returns that they've seen in their products. So if you haven't looked at a theme lately, you really should take a peek. We have another uh, trip as well that is based on all of your production with us, which basically what that means is your a theme business counts twice. It counts towards the meeting down at the montage. It also counts towards a great trip to Puerto Barta uh, in the first part of 2021, uh, going down to Beautiful Secrets location there, right on the beach, all inclusive, everything that you and your guests need to have a great time. And we're going to extend that for our top producers to another location, uh, the uh, Four Seasons at Punta Mita. Uh, and that will be uh, March 11th through the 14th, immediately after. So a nice seven, eight days uh, out of uh, out of the grind of everyday uh, weather and, and business that you run into in the late part of March, early uh, or late part of February, early part of March. We'd love to have you and your guests join us uh, for both trips. And you can see what the qualification is for their instant qualification at 8.5 million points. That would be basically dollar for dollar on annuities. Um, those that produce up to 6.5 million will be considered uh, based on availability. We expect that one will probably fill up pretty quick, but we know that there will be some people that will qualify at less than 8.5 as well. So we'd love to have you join us out there. And again, that is for all business, all companies, all carriers that you write through insurance agency marketing services. Okay, well, we got through that pretty quick. Um, I hope Dave is out there with us. Are you with us this, there this morning, Dave? Absolutely. Perfect. I, you, did you see how fast I went through that for the team? You know what? I'm uh, I'm fairly impressed. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've told them just a little bit about you, Dave. I had to let them know that you've done some coaching yeah. with us. Why don't you give them just a quick on you, and then let's let's dive right into Retirement Boss Radio and see what we can help them with also around Social Security claiming as well. Right, right. My name is Dave Pimper, and welcome everybody on board today. Um, I'm a producer, just like probably the people, all the folks that are on the webinar, been in the business since 1981, so I'm kind of an old timer. Three years, my first three years in insurance, and then I've been uh, really in, in uh, investments and securities uh, with uh, having a, maybe 20, 25% of my business coming from the fixed indexed and the fixed route. So um, I'm really an accumulator. I work with people in, in transition that are you know, from anywhere from 50, 55 years of age, maybe up to 70. So it's kind of that pre-retired or just retired people that are, that are transitioning out of maybe the accumulation stage more into the preservation or a bit more into the income stage. Um, I'm a marketer. Uh, I've always enjoyed marketing and I've, I've, I've coached for, for over 30 years. I've been a coach and uh, for the last uh, 14 years, it's been with Insurance Agency Marketing Services who I run my business through but I also coach for them. I coach uh, production coaching, which, which, you know, our, our business is pretty simple. It's getting in front of enough people and it's closing enough people. So, but getting in front of enough people is a big, that's the big if really uh, for a lot of people is getting in front of enough qualified prospects, but through seminar marketing, through retirement boss radio marketing, uh, I've been able to really accomplish that and, and get in front of a, I mean, every single day I've, I, I've got, uh, most every single day I've got first appointments, not counting second or third closing appointments. So um, uh, right now we're talking about on the screen is is a social security, which which today we're going to talk about being your radio host, but social security, um, it, it's a hot subject. And it's going to be a hot subject as long as baby boomers are retiring. Um, uh, social security has 2,700 rules. It's complicated. Um, 
um, I've done social security workshops for a long time, um, um, for, for, for almost 10 years now. So um, about a quarter of my working career, I've been doing a lot of social security workshops and we found a really great vendor um, who is uh, uh, superb at, at, at social media marketing, i.e. Facebook marketing. And I tried uh, vendors before and had the limited success, but we've had great success. In fact, such great success that we've offered a guarantee that for $2,500, here's what happens. And it's just $2,500 all in, and that's exactly what that means. Is it, it, that $2,500 for you uh, gets you the presentation, which I put together. I put together, so it's it's a fairly simple presentation, 54 slides, so it's fast moving, not any length of time period on one slide, but you're guaranteed to have 25 buying units at that Social Security workshop, or we will go in and refund that money, credit it back to you, or cut you a check out um, uh, on for every unit that is not there. Uh, with that, you also get coaching from me, so if you don't know Social Security, join the crowd, only 12%. Uh, it's estimated of advisors that truly understand Social Security inside and out, that have enough information, and enough education, they could give a workshop now. So uh, the uh, the three coaching sessions are, are included in that. Big difference between mentoring. A lot of FMOs have uh, mentoring programs. You know, Go follow Tiger Woods and do it just like him. <laughs> it's easier said than done. And, and a lot of those superstars, uh, they're truly gifted in ways that, that – that the average person is not, I'm a coach. So I'm coaching that person up on, on uh, seminar marketing, uh, coaching them up on, on social security, of really understanding social security. So you, you, you go in there and you've got a, a good background, a good base of, 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 of how to answer those questions when you get in that one-on-one -on -one, uh, appointment. You also get three months worth of Social Security software that is free for you. It's, it's a, we shopped it all around, and then after that, it's about $26, $27 a month. But that's, you know, when we handle it right here in our office, uh, uh, we got, I have three administrators, but Lynn Felthauser is my main uh, coaching administrator, and she, we follow everything through from the invitation to uh, help you, um, uh, you know, what's, needed to set up the room, et cetera. So that is one area also, and now we can go, and, and we're, we'll, we'll kind of get a little further here so we get into the uh, actual uh, workshop itself. Um, you know what, and, I, and I'm gonna say this, uh, uh, yeah, I've presented over 500 public seminars, so that's a lot, I mean, I think it's 507. Uh, I have a, actually a seminar tomorrow, I think that's the 508th seminar that I've done. So. If you tried some of the marketing and had uh, lukewarm uh, results, uh, we should talk. I mean, if, you, if, you, if you're doing seminars and you're paying more than $2,500, uh, maybe we should talk. So there's a, there's a lot of things here that are, that are very, very important. And I will say this is that um, uh, seminar marketing isn't for everybody, for the right person. It can really, it can really be a, a, a big, big help to go in and to um, – and to uh, uh, really increase the amount of people that you talk to. So I talked about our Facebook expert uh, down in the southeast part of the country. He's going to do over 12, his shop will do over $12 million worth of media. I'm telling you what, and, and, a, and, a, and a good part of that is to do with social, with, with social media. Um, there's my picture. I'm not that skinny. I'm actually fatter than that. <laughs> But it says, become a radio host and become a local celebrity. This is a true story. Um, a lady came in. Um, she was extremely, extremely nice. And, and um, this is wild. She comes to me and she says, uh, she's an older, older gal. She came from the radio show. And um, she was up in her upper 70s. But her husband passed away, oh, like, like 13. Oh, excuse me. Her, 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 no, I take this back. It wasn't a past. Her, her ex-husband, they had been divorced for like 13, 14 years. He had a benefit of, of, of over 2000 Her benefit was barely there, five $600. She could have jumped up on a divorced benefit, jumped up to his re retirement benefit 13 years ago. She never knew a thing about it. Now, she went right from my shop to go down there to let them know. I mean, she, she had to go get a divorce decree. She had to go get a marriage certificate. She had to get her her husband's so, ex husband's social security number, but just to let you know, she lost out in those 13 years. She lost out on 78,000 bucks, 
And so I said, I got good news and bad news for you. What do you want to hear first? She said, the bad news. I said, well, you you could have done this 13 years ago. <laughs> and she said, how much did I lose out on? I said, over 78,000. And she wasn't, that, that doesn't bring a real happy camper in. But I did get a retroactive benefit of three months of benefit that was three, 4,000 bucks. Uh, and, 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 yeah, you know, and, and what happens is um, she she is going to get it from here on out. So if she lives another 10 years, she's getting a benefit that no one ever told her about. Now, now she took a bunch of my cards. I mean, she probably took 20 of my cards and she was going to give them to all her friends, you know, all her young friends, she said, which, of course, they, she's 79. So most people are younger than her. But she we didn't do any business together. Um, she had a little bit of assets that maybe I could have forty, fifty thousand, but but she, I think she'll she'll need the money here before it's all said and done because because her living expenses are higher than what her income right now is. She's got a piece of property she can sell, and so I gave her advice on that of, 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 of when I thought that I would sell that. You know, she's supposed to keep her lifestyle in that same in that same realm, but 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 helping her get that extra money each and every month, yeah, it's pretty rewarding. And so that came from a radio lead. Now, did I write business with her? No, but I'll be very surprised if I don't write business from somebody well, that she gives that card to because she was pretty oh, pretty excited about it. And I want to tell you this was pretty exciting. I mean, pretty interesting. When I went out there in, in the waiting room, and there's two receptions that we have. This is in Omaha. Um, what's interesting is, is that she said, oh, my gosh, she says, I'm talking to a celebrity. She goes, you're on KFAB, which is the big 50,000, you know, watt station here in Omaha. But, I, you know, have I had that before? No, I tell you what, when people hear you on the radio, uh, it does give you a celebrity status. Now, am I, should I have that? No, absolutely not. I always say, just talk to my kids. You'll know that I'm no celebrity. But I will tell you this, uh, radio personalities, television personalities certainly are elevated up in the, in the eyes of that average co consumer. But why radio? I'm going to tell you right now, radio's radio's just huge. In fact, it reaches more Americans each week than any other platform. And I'm talking about smartphones, TVs, personal computers, TV-connected devices. It's a fact. People listen to radio, especially AM radio. Lots of listening to AM radio. The median age of listening is 61. Even though this lady was much, much older, my average person that comes on in is somewhere between 60 and 58 and 66, I'd say, 67. That's about my average age. So the, the the radio reaches a very upscale listener. 93% of all adults in the 75,000 income households, that household listens each week on average of 12 hours. The household does. It's a lot of hours. It does solidify you as an expert. Just ask my 70-year-old, 79-year-old um, um uh, a female uh, prospect that came in and, and kind of her action on that. And then she kept on saying, she goes, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. She had to get some coffee to, to calm her nerves down. Cause she, I said, why are you nervous? Well, I'm just talking out here. I've been listening to you for months and months. <laughs> it's just a different kind of a, a rapport that you have with that, with that individual, how they look at you and news talk. Yeah. I mean, over 12% of all radio listeners choose news, weather, sports to listen to so 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 why go on am radio well that's where the money's at why does rush limbaugh glenn beck kim Kamado, dame ramsey all the big big names rick edelman yeah the national names why are they on am radio normally uh, because there's a huge uh, listening audience huge so they kind of they kind of take up during the week and then the weekends are, are left for local folks. So there's other people that advertise too. I mean, there's could be a home builder. I've heard of lawyers. I've seen I've seen um, plumbers, um, uh, people. I mean, just all different kinds. But there also are financial folks that are on the weekend, and it, it certainly elevates your brand. So retirement boss radio take charge of your money. That is a trademarked name and slogan, which I did before I ever started this program. I, I've, I've, I've been in the radio business for over 25 years. I had 11 years, which was a live show 
from 7.15 to, to 8 o'clock each Saturday morning. I did that for 11 years. I did a, a, a after a, like a Paul Harvey in the news, a market report five days a week of the, the, the business week. Um, four to five minutes, I did that for another 14, 15 years. And then I've been with Retirement Boss Radio, a recorded show, though it sounds live. I put this together and I mean, I was coaching already, of course, with IAMS, and I asked Steve Murray, who's one of the hosts today, and he's the co-owner of IAMS, um, been in the business here over 25, 26 years with, 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 with IAMS. And um, yeah, what happens is, is that he had a, a big interest, and we've really had some, some outstanding success. The, the, the content of the show, there are some FMOs where you actually read the content, and I know that works for some. It doesn't work for me, uh, and most folks sound canned when they do it, but we like the idea of having um, show notes and then categorized A, B, C, and, well, and I'll just give you an idea. Um, I'm sitting here actually doing this this show for my office in Fremont, Nebraska, and I will just tell you my last recorded show. So, I mean, here's how I start this. I said, uh, here's the intro. Uh, and I'll do it like I say it. I say, sometimes even the smallest mistake can wreak havoc with your carefully planned retirement. On today's show, we'll cover some of the most common retirement mistakes and what you can do to try to avoid them. So that's the intro. That's kind of teases them to get on in. Then I have a co-host from the production company. He co-hosts. He's the same coach. I mean, he's been in radio, television, media for over 40 years. And so here's what we're talking in the day. We keep it broad. Now, I'm part of a broker-dealer, so if you're not, you have a little more leeway what you can say, but I'm, I'm controlled some of what I can say. But here it is. Here's the headlines. Not thinking ahead when it comes to inflation. And then I have an inflation quote you know, by, by Milton Freeman. Inflation is taxation without legislation. Most every – on the show notes, I have, a, I have a, um, a quote, and then I have something called in the news. And in the news is just something that's current. Like right here uh, on the second part of the show, second half, on the half hour, it says nobody knows how long they're going to live. And it talks about longevity. And then I say in the news, source is Center for Disease Control. The life expectancy of a 65-year-old American is 19 and a half years or 234 months, reaching to the age of 84 and a half. Just if, little, little interesting tidbits about it. But we talk about here's here's the, here's the headlines. Not thinking ahead when it comes to inflation. Not estimating your needs accurately. Retiring too early. You should start taking Social Security at your most optimal time. Not understanding how your tax rate affects your retirement income. Not having a sufficiently diversified investment portfolio. Now, if you're just fixed indexed if fixed. UILs, your only insurance license, that's your straight license, you're not going to say investment portfolio. You're, you're, you're either going to leave that out, or you're going to maybe talk in and talk about, um, you know, talk about um, that, uh, uh, trying to find the best guarantee of principal that's available or, or whatever you put in there. And then my next segment, it says um, we talk about uh, an income plan. And so most everyone needs an income plan. Nobody can consistently time the stock market successfully. Money sitting in cash isn't keeping up with inflation. That was my so that's what I that's what I talked about, and and we do that every you have show notes every single week. And can you vary from those show notes? You certainly can vary from them if you want to. Would I very much? I wouldn't. It's been successful with for me. It's been and when I mean successful, I mean it's getting me appointments. Because remember, when people call into this pre-recorded show, and you can record that anywhere you want to. I record it here in my office. Yeah, I got. In my office, I've got, um, which is the, the only upfront cost you really have on this, you got to buy a, a microphone, a little wind cover for it, um, headphones, and I bought, bought, there's a little $25 foam box that I actually put it in so it deadens the sound like just like you're in a studio. Yeah, you can do it anywhere you want to. Your home, your office, your, your, your hotel room if you're on the road. It all connects up to a software that is, it's, it's, it's expensive software, but it's provided for you by, by the, um, the production company. So, so this has a real, I mean, this has a real uh, A through Z turnkey feel to it 
because that's what it's supposed to do. I mean, I, I don't I want people out there uh, floundering. And you get coachings with me also. You get, depending, but you get three coachings with me coaching about, we role play. We, we go through the very first script that you're going to do so you really know it inside and out. So um, the shows are, like my broker dealer, we need more time. So my shows are recorded two weeks out. Most shows are recorded on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then they play on Saturday and or Sunday of what your time period is. Um, the co-host does a very, very good job. I mean, a, an extremely nice job. So let's just kind of walk through this. So if you call and say, Dave, yeah, I live in uh, XYZ, um, uh, XYZ, Texas, okay? And so first of all, it can't be a real small area. It needs to be $100,000 or more for the listening area. 100,000 people, excuse me, not dollars, 100,000 people or more to be able to get enough people. We have to be able, the, 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 the radio media buyer who buys the radio time, the hour time, well, there has to be on the right station at the right time. So if you've got the greatest station in the world, it's 2 a.m. in the morning, it's not going to work. If you've got the worst station in the world and it's the most prime time, let's say that's, that it's 9 o'clock a.m. on Saturday morning or 10 o'clock prime time, it's not going to work. It has to be a good time period at with a good with a good um, uh, radio station. And just to let you know, the vendor that we use for to, to the media vendor, their company's been in the business since '67. They own radio stations. I mean, this fellow here does strictly. He he, he buys airtime. He does uh, social media, uh, uh, Facebook uh, invite advertising for seminars. He does a lot. He does uh, uh, television. But he's got 400 shows a week that he's purchased radio time for. And I'll tell you right now, you can go down and negotiate the very best deal with, with your local radio station. It, I promise you, it probably won't be close to the pricing he can get. Yep. And, and that's how he makes his money because he makes a portion of that, of that percentage of that, 10 or 15%. But what happens is he just knows the market so, so well, what's been successful and what has not been successful. But it's a, and remember, when people call in, we open up like, my, my phone number is 888-975-2677, 888-975-BOSS. All of our numbers end in 2677, which is B-O-S-S for Retirement Boss Radio. And um, when they call in, they call into a live, a live call center. And they, they answer the phone, Retirement Boss Radio, and they have one goal, those folks, those, those high-end call center folks do. And this is not in the Philippines or it's not a low-end call center. This is, this is um, in good old U.S. of A. And I had to go through a couple, two or three, really to find the right call center that worked well for us. But they're, they, we, we do not mail information out. We're meeting with those people. Whether you meet them in your office, if you have an office, or meeting them at their home, but it's all set up. When we call them on uh, my shows on Sunday from 12 to 1, I, we call everybody on Monday morning just to verify that they're they're coming the time. In, in, and it's it's really a good system. And, and I try to get I got a big station, but I, I try to get two to three appointments a week. I mean that that that's what my average has been. I've certainly gotten more. Once in a while, I, I won't have any come in, but two to three appointments, set appointments a week, so 10, 12 appointments a month. Um, oh, I just wrote business. I mean, that, that that lady that came in, I didn't write business. That looked at me as a star, but I did write business. Not a big case, but 120,000, and that came from Retirement Boss Radio. I wrote that last week. But 120,000, I mean, it's still seven thousand, six, seven thousand dollars. I mean, so you know, it pays for a couple months of radio time. You know, so so it's 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 something that most people don't look at because they think it's going to be so expensive. But I tell you what. Uh, price, pricing now is very, very competitive. Yeah, when we get it back from the um, the call center, this is what it looks like. Like KFAB, um, 12, uh, uh, that's 1110 on the, on the dial. Appointment scheduled, yes, yeah, the right. Appointment date, when it was. Appointment time, yeah. And then they, their notes were turning 59 soon, hasn't settled on someone yet. He has a 401k that is seven-figured. Also had questions about Social Security. I will say this: Social Security is a is a big draw. I bet 30, 35 percent of the retirement boss radio uh, uh, appointments are, are centered off Social Security. So if you do radio, uh, I will also teach you Social Security uh, with coaching sessions. 
and backup support if you don't know it already. So it's really kind of a win-win. Most advisors, only 12% of advisors, truly have a good understanding of Social Security with the 2700 rules, but you'll be coached up by me so you can answer those questions. And I'm always available, too, if you're coaching with me. If you go to www.retirementbossradio.com, or you can go to my website, www.lazaruscoaching, like Biblical Lazarus, L-A-Z-A-R-U-S, coaching.com. Either one of those will have um, um, our uh, 30-minute segments uh, are updated each and every week. So you can actually hear the – it isn't the live show. It's actually the recording show, but 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 it's there. So costs, yeah, those are questions that come up. And I'll tell you right now, costs are normally going to run – Normally, all in, all in for everything. They're going to run from $2,500 on the lower end, all in cost. I mean, that means the media buy the radio time, the production company, the co host, coaching from me, the call center, all in $2,500. And the, the larger areas are, are probably 5000 or so. So it depends on the station, depends on the time. Now, if it's WLS and it's in Chicago, one of the biggest stations in the year, no, it's going to cost you more like ten or twelve thousand dollars. But but then you should probably be getting in ten to fifteen appointments a week from that. You know, so it's all relative. But the costs are really no more than what a, a dinner seminar is. Locations, yeah, we've got lots of locations that are available. There's some that are, are, are already territories that are already taken because people are up and going right now. But all you got to do is just mark yes, and we'll find out whether you your area has, has availability. Training coaching is done by myself, Dave Pimper. The studio, yeah, I call it studio in a box. So there is about $175, maybe $200 up front that you'll pay for, you know, for um, your headphones, your microphone, windshield, uh, phone box, yeah, yeah, to make it sound good, just like you're in. It sounds just listen to it. It sounds just like I'm in the in the um, in the studio, and they all work together for the best interest of you. And the end result is we want more appointments. The end result, we want more business. End result, we want to be happier by helping more people and making more money. It's a win-win situation. If you haven't looked at radio, you really need to, because I'll tell you right now. Radio is one of the mediums that isn't used nearly enough. I think it's the perception of how much it costs. So uh, Al Jolson was an act, actor, and he says, I'd like to do radio just like pictures, leave the imperfect stuff on the cutting room floor. Well, you can with radio. You can leave the imperfect. I reduce a part of mine all the time. I mean, if I make a mistake, I just say cut it over. That's the beauty of doing a uh, a um, pre-recorded instead of actually a recorded. So we're going to open up the phone lines and 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 put in a poll and answer any of the questions that came on up. But uh, it's it it goes. Procrastination is my sin. It brings me constant sorrow. I really shouldn't practice it. Perhaps I'll stop. Well, tomorrow never comes, does it? <laughs> it never comes. So, and we'll put another slide up, Steve. That was on wealth management. So what happens is, is that if you've got an interest in in Retirement Boss Radio, you'd like to talk with me just to give you an idea of of if if there is a, a, a radio station in your area with a good time, because it's kind of like real estate, location, location, location. We need to have a good station doesn't have to be the number one or in a bit, even number two. It might be the number three uh, station, but it's at a very good time. Um, I would probably rather have that than, than, than the number one or two at a bad time. So that's what Jerry. That's what Jerry. That's what our. That's what our uh, our media buyer does. He's so well versed. He, he he's talked. He knows thousands of radio station call letters off the top of his head. The guy's incredible. Um, um, don't know how he keeps it all in there. But but he's very, very good at what he does. So remember again, and then we'll open it up for questions. If you mark yes on this, then you're going to get a call from Nicole or Lisa. One of the two will give you a call and set a time up with me, not one of my associates, but with myself, to talk about your area, what you're doing marketing-wise. See if Retirement Boss Radio is a fit. And I'll tell you something else. Also mark yes 
if you're if you're if you're not doing seminars or if you're doing seminars but you think you're you're paying over twenty five hundred dollars a month you know to get twenty five guaranteed buying units there if you've been thinking about doing social security you want to learn social security because I coach that with the seminar training yeah then mark yes also we can talk about that uh, too my big goal for IAMs, I want their producers to get in front of more qualified appointments. Not more qualified prospects, more qualified appointments. An appointment is much stronger than a lead or a prospect. Face to face, belly to belly, talking it out. That's extremely important. So just remember this, and then we'll open up the phone lines and go back to Steve. This has five kind of distinct areas, Retirement Boss Radio. First of all, is that you get a you get a, uh, a, a, a person who, who knows media inside and out to go and find you that, if it's available, for that best time and the best radio station that's in your area. That's the first thing. Second thing is, is that you've got a production company that has a co-host that supplies the show notes. I revise those show notes, but the show notes that goes in and mixes and edits and gets that finished product to the actual station itself. Pretty cool. And just to let you know something, too, we saved money on this, quite a bit of money, production money, because we actually do, we record every week a 30-minute show, but then we go four shows before and repeat that four shows before. No one has ever said a thing they've ever known it's repeated. Most people don't listen to AM radio for a straight hour. They listen to it for 15, 20 minutes. We repeat our phone number on an average of eight times in an hour, eight to ten times in an hour, okay? So then, then, then what you have is is you've got the the, the call center. The, the, so the call center, they're the ones that's going in and taking all of your live calls of, of your of your prospects and then turning those into appointments. And then you get an email right away. I mean, every Sunday during between one and one thirty or twelve and one thirty when the show's on, even and a little after the show, it's like Christmas when they start popping on in. And then lastly, it's coaching from myself. So I coach you on the ins and outs of radio. I coach you on 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 the, the types of the topics. We role play. Actually, the first the first uh, 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 script is, is remember the first the first show you do is the worst show you do. The next two, three, four shows you do are the kind of the next worst. But after about a month, you really start clicking. I didn't get any calls until my third. I didn't get any appointments until my third week. So. But but now I've been out here I think 14, 15, 16 months and it is oh my gosh it's been I, well, I had the largest production year that I've that I've had um, in years and years and years last year radio was radio, this type of radio was one of the main reasons. Steve, you have any questions that came on up that we can that we can answer? Yeah, Dave, we have a couple. So uh, we've got Tom, and Tom has got a broker-dealer, so you might want to walk yep. through how the process of getting a radio show approved by your broker-dealer since I know you had to do it. Right, so they're going to want show notes, and on that show notes, they don't want words like um, I just got knocked down because I said uh, I, I I used the word proven, and they didn't like that. They didn't like proven on there. So you know, you use words like um, could be, might be, uh, uh, probably, uh, a chance of. <laughs> yeah, but they want to look at the show notes. My broker dealer, it depends on the broker dealer. They listen to each one of my shows. Yeah, they listen to every show. And um, in the beginning, I, I, I got knocked some, but then once I got the, you know, the hang of it, I also give you a list of about 20 things. They, they're, they're very concerned when you say the word guarantee. My broker deal lets me say it around Social Security because it's not investment. But if I'm going to talk about insurance guarantee or lifetime guarantee, principal guarantee, I need to say it's contractual and it's only as strong as the, is the uh, company that is backing that contractual guarantee. I have to say it is not, not, not. You could say that in the disclaimer, if you allow it, I always just say it uh, during the actual show itself. So just just know there's a there's a lot of the big big boys like Rick Edelman, Ron Carson, um, a lot of those guys, national guys, they have broker dealers and uh, they just have to stay within the guidelines. So yeah, so let's certainly talk. And I know you know whether it's you know. LPL or, or 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 Cambridge or or Voya or Meritus and whoever it is, you know, we can talk about. It. I've, I've we we've not had any problems, but you got to stay within the guidelines of that BD. 
I have some questions on the co-hosting and how that works and what the role of the co-host is. Can you kind of walk them through that, Dave? Yeah. Our co-host is really the color guy. So all of the, you know, he wants to make us look good. He wants to make us shine in the in the listeners the listeners' ears. Can, can you shine in their ears, Steve? I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I'm sure you can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's exactly right. But you want to sound good. You want to sound good when you're on the radio. He makes you sound good, look good. He makes you just get, you know, you're 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 the you are the man. He's the color. So if you think in a, in, a, in a radio commentary, when you've got the main announcer for sports, and then you got the color guy, he's the color guy. He keeps everything moving. Um, um, I've done it both ways. I think having a, uh, I think having a co-host is oodles easier and oodles better than trying to do it just by yourself. Dave, you better give everybody also the website where they can hear your because there's like three or four requests to how can i listen to dave's show so you've got recorded versions of many of your shows all of your shows i assume probably out on your website all of them all of them and they rotate out the old ones but it's www.retirementbossradio.com it's a good url is it steve that's beautiful beautiful a little (laughs) long a little long. <laughs> yeah. Well, retirement boss radio, that's what it is, though, you know, so that's pretty easy to figure. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. So um, the other questions I have are regarding cost. And I know that's really hard to do for us because it varies some based on the area. But I think Dave gave us all a pretty good range. I, I don't know anybody that's fallen above that range. And I think there have been maybe one or two that maybe have fallen below that 2,500 yeah, range. Yeah. But that's a pretty good. Yeah, you're right. Pretty good range for you and then some questions about availability so uh there are we've run into a couple situations dave correct me if i'm wrong where <clears throat> availability of the number one station or the most likely station has not been there at a good time but there's almost something always something that's available unless we've already got somebody in that area uh, which what i probably, probably 15 to 18 uh, you know total metro areas you know, we should have pretty good availability for most of the folks. Would you agree? No, it, it, it is. I mean, we have, as you know, we have been on top of each other, and we're just not going to do that. We're going to go and protect areas and territories. But, but this is pretty wide open. And I'll tell you right now, if 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 if, if you have some consistency and persistency, and you, you you work this as a business, not just as a sales ploy or marketing ploy, but work it as a business. It can be, I mean, I'm just telling you, I know this from, from myself. It can be a, an extremely good way. I mean, every month I get, you know, my goal is to get in front of one new person every, one new, one new, not a second, third appointment, not, not a service appointment, but one new person every day. And I'm averaging well over 30 appointments a month now. And, and, and radio is one of the big reasons. I mean, I certainly do good in my seminars, but radio, there's a little bit different type of, of uh, upscale client, a little more money. Um, and I think they, they complement each other really well. Dave, I have a young lady here that's asking whether she's not security is licensed. Does, or, can you walk them through uh, the number of folks? Because I know we've got a number of folks that are not security is licensed that do radio. Can you kind of walk us through the ins and outs of that, different show notes and things like that, I suppose? Yeah, well, what happens on that is, is that just like I read my show notes and talked about investments, I mean, you've got to rearrange that a little bit. So in the beginning, I was doing different show notes, and now I'm not. I'm just going on in because most of our most of our most of our information is broad range, especially if you're talking about Social Security, or if you're talking about taxes, income planning, you're talking about fees or expenses. All of those are really general financial planning or general retirement planning. So you just you know you're not going to go in and talk about investments because you're not investment licensed, but you can you're going to talk about guarantees. You have much more freedom to talk about that from the insurance side than you do from the broker dealer side or even the RIA side, registered investment advisor. They got to be careful because there's like you have a, a advisorship. Well, I am as well. You know, I mean, I know that that, that group, uh, they, they want to look at, um, um, you know, kind of a what's of what of what's being said, you know, from show notes Absolutely. and so forth. So, yeah. So, you know, what happens is, is that we're in a compliant business and it, we should be, I mean, we're, we're working with people's hundreds and hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, we, we should be regulated. It can be over-regulated as we found in some of the, some of the administrations, you know, before now, but, but, but I'll say this is that everyone's, everyone's unique and everyone's kind of individual. And if you mark yes on this and I talk to you, 
uh, we'll be able to make it work. Now, now, there are some people that just aren't fit. They, they just don't have the voice or they don't have the confidence. You got to have some confidence when you're doing marketing like this. Some people get scared, even talking to a mic when there's, but, but, but every, every, every weekend, I mean, I'm talking to about 2,500 people are listening to my show. And that, that number has consistently gone up and up and up from the day that we started. So yeah, I'd love to talk to you. I think that, you know, if, 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 if you've got some interest, uh, this may just be something that you've that you've been looking for, kind of a New Year's resolution has come true to to get in front of more qualified appointments. Thanks, Dave. Jay asks how many times we air the show per week. One time. It airs once. Now, could we air it a second time? I don't have availability, but you're going to pay for a second time. So yes, you you absolutely could. But I air it one. Well, everyone that we've got right now airs it one time per week. They often get, as part of, you know, uh, Jared's a pretty good negotiator, and it, it's often the case that as part of the negotiation, he, besides the radio time for the show, he also negotiates commercials and little spots. And I know Dave, for instance, here, he got you a little talk time with one of the other hosts of radio show just yeah. to kind of pump up uh, viewer or listenership. So yeah, he does those are just all, Yeah, those are just perks, just gravy on the potatoes. So when I, when I started 14, 15 months ago, um, uh, then they got me with the with the afternoon new, real well known news talk guy, Chris Baker, and we went live for 15 20 minutes, and we just did it off the cuff. I mean, oh, I guess maybe I told him a little bit of what we're talking about, but kind of off the cuff, and and I put it up on my website. Then Jared also went in, and he got I don't know. There was some holiday weeks that he got where I did have to pay. He also I think it was 15. 15, 15 second ads uh, throughout the week promoting the show, which on itself, Steve, on KFAB, 15, 15, 15 second ads, I bet you that could easily cost per, per month three, 400 bucks. Oh, easily. You know, easily. Easily. Yep. easily. Yeah, and that's per week. So if you go 15 per week, so he's putting about 65 to 70 ads per month promoting the show. And it's just the package is. It's slick. I mean, it, it, it does a really good job, and, and myself helping and coaching it through hopefully helps also. Yeah, I'm surprised, Dave, we haven't had as many questions as usual about the coaching, and so they must have been comfortable, or maybe they've been on some of your other webinars and things yeah. like that, so they kind of know what you do. But we consider that key to success, no matter whether you're doing seminars or radio or uh, any of the things that we uh, promote as kind of sales and marketing efforts to get business in the door we don't do it now without coaching very easily because it just the chances of success go way 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 down unfortunately and we don't our our business is the business of helping you be successful uh, and Dave has been good enough to make it fairly reasonable I'm pays most of the coaching costs as part of our service to our producers so it kind of it just makes sense to give you the best chance at, at success and having somebody with you step by step and somebody that's doing what you're doing step by step is, gosh, there just isn't there just isn't a better way to give you that opportunity. So, and Dave has been kind enough, with, especially with the radio guys. I was going to say guys and gals, but I don't know we've had a gal yet. Um, but with the radio team, is to kind of spend some time around some of the things that they need to know. You know, some basic social security stuff that's been so instrumental in getting people to call. Some of the you know, planning things. So there's, you know, there's nothing left to chance and we want to make sure that you're successful. We've had pretty good results with radio and you can't always gauge results. I mean, we, we're gauging results from just appointments, but just building your reputation in an area is very valuable and it's hard to gauge that. You know, if you're doing other things in your area, or, you know, find, find that people are calling you more often, you don't necessarily know why. Well, it could be that they heard your name on the radio on a commercial. It could be they heard your radio show or, you know, you, you just don't know how that works. So it can help build your brand in an area. And that, that can be really key and kind of one of the unsung heroes of radio because what Dave is talking about here is what he's earning from radio right from the appointments he's getting right from the radio shows. That's that's money that you can count. Uh, there's some other money that I think you can't count that comes with radio. So a lot of great stuff. Hey, Steve. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, I just want to say too, I think most people shy away from radio because if I ask somebody, ask somebody, have you ever tried a seminar? Most folks have. Maybe it hasn't worked. Maybe it has worked. How many people have tried radio, like a radio host? Hardly anybody. 
Very I few. Think the image, I think the perception is it's going to be so costly. Uh-huh. And I'll tell you, in reality, it's 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 extremely competitive with seminars. And and so so what happens is is that that's why that's why you need it just to mark yes on that poll. Let's just talk. Let's kind of see what you're doing right now. The success that you're having. Could this be something? You know, it may or may not be. But I tell you what. You know, until you ask, it's kind of biblical. If you don't ask, you're not going to receive. If you don't ask, what what's available out there marketing that could help you? Maybe I can give you some insights, something that could really elevate your production. And I tell you, that's a that's a win win. I'll assure you. Absolutely, it is. I think we've answered all the questions, and we're kind of coming up against our time here, Dave. Is there anything that you want to say as we end today's uh, webinar? No, I just appreciate everybody taking time. Time out of the field is, is uh, it can be lost time. Hopefully, this was an investment in time, and I hope I talked to a lot of folks about Retirement Boss Radio, maybe how it can, can open up some avenues for a lot more appointments uh, in, in, in your working career. Great stuff as usual, Dave. We had a lot of great reception. Uh, you'd be, you'll would be you be surprised to hear that uh, the level of folks that have interest, and it, it doesn't surprise me. I think this is a real opportunity radio. Once people see that it can be made easy, you know, the expense becomes the issue, but it can be made easy to do. And Dave and his team have really done a nice job of making this something that's very, uh, you know, very A, A, B, C. You know, it isn't complicated. Yeah. It's one step, two step, three step, and you're on the radio sounding good. And people are saying, hey, Joe, heard you on the radio. And that makes, that can make your business take off for you in your area. So I'm glad that you have some interest. Uh, thank you for joining us here today. Thank you, Dave, for taking some time. I know your appointment yep. schedule has been really packed here uh, of the, over the last five or six months. So certainly appreciate you taking some time out and talking about radio. What we're about here at IMS is making sure you have good stuff to, to help your business grow. Uh, Retirement Boss Radio, certainly one. Dave talked about Social Security seminars. That's certainly another. Please let us know how we can help. Uh, Dave will be contacting you. Actually, our team will be contacting you here initially here today and try and get some appointments set up for the many of you that wanted to have a one-on-one conversation with Dave. Thank you for joining us. Have a great finish to your sales week. And thanks for being part of the IMS family. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.